I would just like to make some uh, closing comments. And in fact, I think this last panel and actually this discussion is fundamentally, uh, at least for me personally, uh, how I perceive the direction uh, of where we need to go. You know, obviously we talked about the evolutionary constructs of compassion, the conceptualization, the interventions, the measuring, if you will, and the components that make up uh, uh, the neural networks associated with compassion, whether it's at the gene level, whether it's at the peptide level, et cetera. But <clears throat> really, this is just to set the stage, I think, for what Phil said, which is to act. It is wonderful and intellectually stimulating to learn about the science of compassion. In fact, I, I mean, this is one of the richest conferences I myself have been to, and I, I'm blessed that I have wonderful people who uh, uh, helped me create this conference. But really, at the end of the day, unless what we do has an impact on the greater society through the individual, and we create this construct where we can take this out, where it could be embraced by the community and the world, then, I mean, really, fundamentally, I think you would all agree that we're doomed. So I would really encourage and wish that that be our end point, the act uh, uh, component of, of that. And uh, I think, as we all see with the interest and the research that's being done, it is infiltrating our society and hopefully will be the new mem within society that spreads and be, it becomes embraced by society. On that note, I would just like to make a comment before we close um, that we are actually planning a World Compassion Festival. And this is not going to be uh, like a typical event where you attend and you feel this wonderful glow in your heart and then you walk out the door and buy a pizza and drink a beer and fall asleep. Uh, Hopefully, the goal of this festival will be actually to create an environment where individuals, especially young people, can embrace the problems that are facing our global society, whether it's poverty, whether it's uh, global warming, whether it's uh, uh, nuclear disarmament. And we create a community which allows everyone to understand the suffering of others, the power of community, and through this, we create a community that allows people to participate at a local, national, international level to become involved with, with these very, very difficult problems. And I'm hopeful that with some of the things we've learned today, I'm hopeful with the uh, power of community and the development of community, it will actually translate into global action. I wish to thank the Telluride Institute, all the individuals who have participated in the planning of this conference, the volunteers, and all of you who have come, the scientists, many of whom are good friends and many of whom are new friends, and hopefully all of you who are new friends. Thank you so much and bless you all.